I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel. Today we are talking about the Colorado River. We will be doing an update on all of the lakes, all the major lakes there on the Colorado River. And let's get right into it. We are going to go to windy.com as we always do. And we're going to start out at windy.com and we're going right to the Colorado River here. And you can see over in Colorado, they are going to be getting precipitation there in the mountains. They're going to get quite a bit of it. We're going to start up here by Steamboat Springs. And you can see 0.61 Fort Collins over here, 0.42 Vail, 0.81 Aspen, 0.78. We go down to tell you right they're going to get 0.16 Montrose 0.28 Grand Junction's actually going to get some precipitation usually they're fairly dry they're in a high desert there 0.38 and we're going to go to do snow and see how much that is snow and you can see they're going to get a big swath of snow right here in the mountains just to the north of Vail 7.7 Vail itself 7.7 .7 Aspen now this is the GFS we go to the European model and it's a little more spread out Vail's supposed to get around 6.6 so they're pretty much in agreement this is within the next 10 days and that's probably not in the three five it's in the next 10 so we'll, it's still quite a long ways out so we'll be watching that you can see up here by the group beginning of the green river up here you can see that they're going to get 2.9 and a little bit here i believe that goes to the missouri river if not mistaken 6.9 so just a little bit not a whole lot down here by page or Las Vegas or Havasu within the next 10 days. No, obviously. A little bit too soon for that. We go back to the rain accumulation. Very little. You're going to get about 0.2 just south of there. So not a whole lot. A little bit over by Flagstaff to the north of Flagstaff. That all flows to the Colorado as well. So 0.11. So just not a whole lot. Let's go check and see what's going on at the graphs. And we're going to go over there right now. As we roll out to the graph, you can see the Flaming Gorge is currently 6,029.63 feet. And that was Thursday, October 5th, 2023 at 7 p.m. The level 17.37 feet below full pool of 6,047. Changes since yesterday. The lake is down 0.04 in the last 24 hours. The lake is down 0.38 feet in the last 14 days. And the lake is up 16.80 feet since last year at this time and we continue to roll and you can see that your full pool 6047 in 2021 the level was 6018.95 feet last year we were at 6012.83 feet in 2023 today we are at 6029.63 feet inactive pools 5871 dead pools 5740 and we continue to roll as of October 5th, 2023, 7 p.m. Flaming Gorge is up 16.80 feet from one year ago. Flaming Gorge is up 10.86 feet from two years ago. Flaming Gorge is 158.63 feet away from inactive pool. Flaming Gorge is 289.63 feet away from dead pool. And we go out to your inflows and your outflows. Your inflows are currently 1,051. Your outflows are currently 1,700. 10 percentage of capacity is currently 85.80 feet and we continue to roll on out here lake navajo and you can see that lake navajo is 6047.56 feet and that was thursday october 5th 2023 at 7 p.m the level is 37.44 feet below full pool of 6085 changes since yesterday the lake's down 0.07 in the last 24 hours lake navajo is down 1.36 feet in the last 14 days lake navajo is up 26.80 feet in the last year we continue to roll and you can see that lake navajo's full pool is 6085 2021 the level was 6023.80 feet last year we were at 6020.76 feet and this year we're at 6047.56 feet and your dead pool is 5775 as of october 5th 2023 lake navajo is up 26.80 feet from one year ago lake navajo Navajo is up 23.76 feet from two years ago. Lake Navajo is 27.56 feet from Deadpool. And we continue to roll to your inflows and your outflows. Your inflows are 448 and your outflows are currently 569. And percentage of capacity is currently 67.40 feet. We go down to Blue Mesa here and Blue Mesa's current water level 7,495.62 feet. And that was Thursday, October 5th, 2023 at 7 
RPM. The level is 23.78 feet below full pool of 7,519.40 feet. Blue Mesa is down 1.58 in the last 24 hours. Blue Mesa is down 3.58 feet in the last 14 days. Blue Mesa is up 49.65 feet in the last year. And we continue to roll. You can see that the full pool level 7,519 in 2021. The level was 7,434.90. Last year was 7,445.97. This year we're at 7,495.62. Your Deadpool is 7,358. And we continue to roll here as of October 5th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Blue Mesa is up 49.65 feet from one year ago. Blue Mesa is 60.72 feet from two years ago. Blue Mesa is 137.62 feet from Deadpool. We go out to your inflows and your outflows and your current inflows are 628. Your current outflows are 1,140 and percentage of capacity 75.03% of capacity and we continue to roll out to Lake Powell's graph in the current water levels 3,573.42 and that was Thursday, October 5th, 2023 at 7 p.m. The level is 126.58 feet below full pool of 3,700 and change since yesterday the lake is down 0.02 in the last 24 hours lake powell hasn't dropped that much in the last 14 days it's only down 0.16 feet in the last 14 so that's positive news and lake powell is up 43.58 feet in the last year and we continue to roll out full pool is 3700 2021 the level was 3530 2022 the level was 3529.84 last year we were looking at 3573.42 in active pools 3490 dead pools 3370 and we continue to roll on out as of october 5th 2023 at 1800 hours so 7 p.m lake pal is up 43.58 feet from one year ago lake pal is up 28.12 feet from two years ago lake pal is 83.42 feet from an active pool and lake pal is 203 0.42 feet away from Deadpool, so we're a long way from that. It'd be nice if we were over 100 here, but it is what it is. Let's check your inflows and your outflows at Lake Powell. Your current inflows are 7,391. Your current outflows are 7,836. So it's just barely a little bit of a difference, not a whole lot. So they're basically letting in as much in as coming out, very slowly draining it, very, very slow. And percentage of capacity, remember last year we were at 32, we're up 4 percent so 36.09 percent of capacity is what we currently stand out as we roll out to lake mead you can see the current water level is 1065.77 feet and that was Thursday, October 5th, 7 p.m. The level is 163.23 feet below full pool of 1,229. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.06 in the last 24 hours. However, Lake Mead is down 0.59 feet in the last 14 days. But also Lake Mead is up 20.42 feet. And I was there last year at this time and that was fun. And it'd be nice to get back out there someday soon. Hopefully things pick up here and we'll have a reason to go out there. So we're at the beginning of the new water year and there will be major cuts for the next two years. So imagine there will be a big increase at Lake Powell and Lake Mead in the next couple of years. So we'll be willing to see how much that's going to go. These take out 9 million acre feet. This year they're going to go down to 7 million 500. So you should see more increases over the next couple of years. And then with El Nino on top of it, hopefully we get a good winter. We're already starting a good snowpack up in the Rockies. We are currently at 159% of the normal snowpack for October 5th. So that's really fantastic. We will take that for sure. That is a good solid start to the beginning of the season. And we are a long way to go. There's a lot of snow within the next 10 days. So that's good news as well. And then we continue to roll on down. Lake Mead is pool pool levels 1,000. 1229 in 2021 the level was 1067.60 feet last year we were at 1045.35 and i was out there right around this time last year so it was way down probably the lowest it's been in a long time in 2023 today we're at 1065 inactive pools 950 
Deadpool's 895, so we will continue to see this lake go up for the next couple of years for sure. As long as we continue to get the snow, it will continue to rise. Hopefully we're pushing 1,100 feet within the next couple of years. And we'll continue to roll on as of October 5th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Lake Mead is up 20.42 feet from one year ago. Lake Mead is down 1.83 feet from two years ago. Lake Mead is 115.77 feet from an active pool. Lake Mead is 170.77 feet from Deadpool and we go to your inflows and your outflows your current inflows are 7,734 your outflows are 8,118 and you can see the percentage of capacity is 34.25 percent of capacity and we will continue to roll on here as we roll out to Lake Mojave you can see that the current water level is 6 138.39 feet and that was Thursday October 5th 2023 at 7 p.m. The level's 8.61 feet below full pool of 647. Changes since yesterday the lake is down 0.14 feet in the last 24 hours. Lake Mojave is down 2.25 feet in the last 14 days. Lake Mojave is up 0.16 feet in the last 365 days. Full pool level at Lake Mojave 647. 2021 the level was 637.75 feet. Last year we were at 638.23 feet. This year we're at 638.39 feet. 533 feet is your dead pool and we continue to roll. As of October 5th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Lake Mojave is up 0.16 feet from one year ago. Lake Mojave is up 0.64 feet from two years ago and Lake Mojave is 105.39 feet away from dead pool. We continue to scoot on here. Your inflows are currently 8,308. Your outflows are currently 8,848. Percentage of capacity is 87% of capacity. And we continue to roll out to Lake Havasu. And your current water level at Lake Havasu is 449.18 feet. And that was Thursday, October 5th, 2023 at 7 p.m. The level is 0.82 feet below full pool of 450. Lake Havasu is up 0.89 feet in the last 24 hours. Lake Havasu is up 1.87 feet in the last 14 days. Lake Havasu is up 1.02 feet in the last 365 days and we continue to roll on out. Lake Havasu is 450 to full pool. In 2021 the level was 449.18 feet. 2022 the level was 448.16 feet. Last year we were looking at 449.18 feet. Power loss is 440 and Deadpool is 400. As of October 5th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Lake Havasu is up 0.12 feet from one year ago. Lake Havasu is down 0 feet in the last two years and Lake Havasu is 9.18 feet from power loss in Lake Havasu is 49.18 feet from Deadpool. We go to your final stop. Your inflows are currently 8,868. Your outflows are currently 6,908. Percentage of capacity is 94.53%. It's the fullest lake that they have thus far and that is all I have. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. We will be back probably tomorrow talking about the Mississippi River or maybe Saturday. There's more to talk about down there. They have received receive some rain but we will be discussing that in short detail it'll probably be a short video so you guys have a blessed day and we'll see you back tomorrow god bless